with Wilma's mum and dad took some of the children for a picnic. They went to a place called White Horse Hell. It was a warm summer's day and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. It was a perfect day for a picnic in the country. Wilma's mum had brought lots of food so everyone had something to carry. We will have our picnic at the bottom of the hill, she said. I know a good place to sit. Wilma's dad spread out a rock and everyone sat down. This is a great picnic, said Beth. This sand was so really good. And this is a great place on a day like this, said Wilma. I can see for miles. You can see even more from the top of the hill, said Wilma's dad. After the picnic, the children wanted to walk up the hill. Biff and Wilma began to run ahead. They both wanted to be first to get to the top. I'll race you up there, called Beth. Wilma's mom called everyone back. Look at all the, the letter you've left behind, she said. Wilma's mom made the children pick up the letter. She told them to put it in a bag. We'll take the letter we'll take the letter back to the car with the picnic things, she said. This place will look terrible if everyone left cats and packets behind. They took the picnic things back to the car. Then they walked up the hill. It took quite a long time to get to the top. Everyone sat down for a rest. That's right, said Wilma. I can see for our miles and miles. The houses and cars look really small. A strange looking aircraft flew past. What's that? asked Jeb. It looks like a flying chap. It's a micro light said Wilma's dad. I suppose it is a bit like a chair with wings. I'd love to fly in one, said Beth. Uh-huh, I wouldn't, said Chub. It doesn't look safe. They walked back through the wood. Floppy ran in and out of the trees. Suddenly, he yelled. Oh no, said Chub. Look out, Floppy! I think he hurt himself. Floppy couldn't walk properly. He started to lamp. His paw was bleeding. Wilma's mom looked at Floppy's paw. It looks like as if he got it, she said. Wolf found a broken bottle. He must have got it on this, he said. Wilma's mum was angry. It's so dangerous to leave broken bottles lying about, she said. The children wanted to play cricket, so they had a game before they went home. Floppy tried to join in, but he couldn't, because his paw was too sore. Poor old Floppy, said Bab, just as luck to step on some broken glass. At last, it was time to go home. Thank you for taking us, said the children. All this fresh air has made me hungry, said Wilma's dad. Maybe we can stop for something to eat on the way home. Wow. Hooray, said everyone. Everyone wanted chicken and chips, so Wilma's dad stopped to get some. I wonder... Why food tastes better when you eat outside, said Wolf. <laughs> it tastes good because we are all hungry, said Wilma's dad. When they had finished, Chip and Wolf looked for the letter pen. There was only one pen and it was full. Chip threw his letter on the ground. Um, I don't think we should do that, said Beth. <sighs> well... What else can we do? said Wolf. The letter bin is full, 
So what is does matter? The children were tired after the picnic. Chap was glad to get into bed. The magic key was in the box next to Chap's bed. Suddenly, the key began to glow.、Uh, oh no! Gasped Chap. This means a magic adventure, and I'm on on my own. Chip was asleep, and Buff was still downstairs. The magic ways. Chip threw the door of the little house. He felt himself spinning round and round. Help! Help! Called Chip. He knew that he was not going to enjoy this adventure. Oh, I wish Buff was here. He thought. The magic took Chip to the Ladder Queen's palace. It was a horrible place. There was ladder and junk everywhere. The Ladder Queen was sitting on her throne. She had two giant rats by her side. I knew this was going to be a bad adventure. Thought Chip. Welcome to my kingdom," said the ladder queen. "You can start work right away." "Start work?" gasped Chap. "What do you mean?" "Your job is to help me spread ladder and junk everywhere. There's still plenty of pretty places to spell." The ladder queen took Chip to her ladder center. There were piles of ladder and junk everywhere. This looks horrid," said Chip. "And this smells horrid, horrid," snapped the ladder queen. She stomped her foot crossly. "It's lovely, and it's time for you to do some work." The ladder queen gave Chip a uniform to put on. "Take a large bag and fill it with the ladder." She ordered, "You can start by making a mess of a few parks and playgrounds. If you don't make a good job of it, I'll get very angry." Oh, I don't like that," thought Chip. Unhappily, the ladder queen took Chip to a park. She told him to stop spinning ladder. The park looked tidy, but soon it was covered with cans and paper. Chip didn't want to spoil the park. It looked good before we came, he thought. But now it looks horrid. The ladder queen watched Chip. Come on, come on! She shouted crossly. I want this park to look a complete mess. Chip wanted to throw all his ladder in a bin, but he was afraid of the ladder queen. This is a horrid adventure, he thought. You saw my micro lights," said the ladder queen. "I used them to spread ladder all over the countryside. You will fly in this micro light," she said. "I don't want to," said Chip. I don't want to throw a ladder all over the countryside. How dare you! Squirmed the ladder queen. Do as you are told. If you don't, I will lock you up with my giant rats. Chip was so frightened of the ladder queen that he climbed onto the macro line.、Oh, I wish this adventure was over. He thought. The macro line took off. Soon, it was flying over the countryside. Chip held on tight. Below him, he could see meadows and fields. He could see streams and tiny houses. He could see woods and green hills. The countryside looked so pretty. He thought. Oh no! Gasped Chip. That looks like the place where we had our picnic. I can see the wood where Flubby got his bow. The macro lights began to flow lower. 
This was the place he had to drop the ladder. I don't want to drop ladder here, he thought. I hate the magic key," said Chad. "I don't like this adventure, and I wish it was over." Suddenly, the macro lights went out of the control. It began to spin. It went round and round, getting faster and faster. Chad's back fluttered, but open. Chad was falling. He seemed to be falling for a very long time. He was falling with the ladder. There were cans and bottles and bags and wrappers. Everything was spinning round and round. The magic key flew out of Chip's pocket. Where is the magic key? Shouted Chip. I must find the magic key. Chip was in bed. The adventure was over. But was it a magic adventure or just a bad dream? Mom and Dad heard Chip shouting. They came into his room to see what was wrong. You were having a bad dream," said Mom. "I expect you eat. You ate too much at the picnic." It was a magic adventure," said Chip. "But I lost the key." Dad looked at Mom. "Perhaps he's not well," he said. "Perhaps he's got a temperature." The next day, Chip was at school. He spoke to Mr. Johnson in the playground. "Um, look at all the ladder," he said. "There are crisps." Packets and wrappers all over the ground. Um. Yes," said Mr. Johnson. Oh, but how do we stop everyone from throwing ladder of the ground? Let's do a ladder project," Chap said. The children in Mr. Johnson's class picked up all the ladder around the school. Then they made poster and wrote stories. Mr. Johnson put the project in them, and they saved our countryside. Compassion. Mr. Johnson's class won the competition. Chip won a special prize for her story called the Ladder Queen. An important person came to give out the prize. That was a very good story, Chip. She said, "It was a nightmare." Such a.